My name is Vatib and in this video, I am going to show you how to set up an AI calling assistant that can not only make outbound calls, but also access your calendar and book appointments on your behalf 24 by 7 and print cash for you. So if you are interested, stay with me and I am going to show you step by step how I am building this AI agent or AI calling assistant, whatever you want to call it. So first of all, we want to come here and say create assistant. So we want to name it whatever the name you want. Let's say I am building it for an Havoc company. It's an electrician. Uh, I want to name it Lily. And Lily for Havoc. So in the description, I am just going to describe what it's going to do and say create assistant. It's going to auto, it's automatically going to create a task for me that i can change later on if i want to so stay with me and let me show you create an assistant that will make calls to clients that we are getting from facebook and google for electrician jobs that's it and that's the only thing you need to do and hit create assistant so what it's going to do is that go ahead and create a task that this assistant is going to follow this is this assistant not only can follow these tasks but it can also access google sheets if we have more data, you, we can put in Google Sheets. It can send links. It can access your calendar, book appointment, cancel appointment, reschedule those appointments, anything you name it, this can do. It's right now I'm doing a call based assistant. It's a very simple assistant, but later on I will be doing more complex assistants. Um, so if you like this kind of, this type of videos, let me know. So I will be making more videos. So here is it. Here it is. It's ready. So the name is Ethan, but uh, like I said, here's Lily. This does not matter. So I can change it to Ethan. Ethan. So I name it Lily, but if I would have described it in the description, it's a, your name is Lily, it would have said Lily. But either way, that's what. So now, as you can see, it have created a task. Greet the user and introduce yourself as Ethan from electrician company. You can name it the any company you want. Let's say I want to name it. I would have actually if would I I would have described the company name in the description. It would have generated that company name. So we can keep it as an electric electrician company because it's just for the test. Confirm the user express interest in electrician services through Facebook because if they if you are calling someone, you want to confirm like this is the actual person uh, that fill up the form if it. Is the person ask the user about specific electrician electrical issues they are facing or service they require based on the user response ask follow-up question to gather more details so this is going to do this this AI calling agent is going to do this automatically so this is basically the task base that we have generated is if there's anything you want to change you can change so later on it says Reassure the user that a company skilled electrician can help resolve their issue and provide high quality services. So keep in mind, this is something that I did not do anything. It generated this task automatically. And if there's anything I want to change this task, I want to, I want to have different questions. Uh, I have a, there's a different qualifying criteria for my company. I can ask those questions as well. So it basically totally depend on you, what you want so here i am not i'm not going to change anything because this is just for the test, test purpose if the user user agree to schedule an appointment collect necessary information such as full address full name address and contact information if you have not already collect, uh, collected these information in your ad you can do that so uh, ask preferred date and time appointment and book the appointment Thanks the user uh, for choosing electrician company and reassure them that their electrical issue will be resolved promptly and proficiently. Professionally, sorry. Uh, end conversation with a friendly tune. Um, so basically, as you can see, what I'm trying to say is that 
So you don't have to do anything. You just need to describe what the assistant need to do, and it's going to create this task based uh, task based assistant for you. And later on, if you want to change that any task that you have a different qualifying uh, questions, or if there's anything else you want to add, you can do that as well. So here I have done this. Now, now I need to choose the phone number for my uh, for my this agent that I'm going to call from. So here I am going to say you can purchase a new number if you have not already, but let's say i am using this one and my the calling assistant is ethan for havoc i am going to update the information and it should update here so my phone number is ready my framework is ready now i'm gonna go here in the voice since i have different different voices here and the person I'm using is Ethan. So for Ethan, definitely I'm not going to say it's Emily because Ethan is a guy. So I want to have some guy calling it. Uh, so let me choose different name. I have a Charlie here from Australian accent. Let's choose this one. Let's listen. Hello there. I'm Charlie, your virtual aide at your service to tackle obstacles Let's and simplify Charlie. your daily tasks. Let's choose Charlie for our assistant. And here you have different uh ambient noises because you can choose a coffee or like different ambient noises that you can choose from i am going to leave it i'm not going to touch this one for now later on i'm gonna come down in the knowledge base so basically this is the knowledge base if you have uh, a big knowledge base it's a faqs and um another knowledge base that you have you can add all that data here and later on we have calendars this is very important this is the exciting part so i have different calendars here i want to access this calendar and uh, if someone is if this if when this ai agent is going to call and uh, this is going to book book appointments in this demo calendar and which is this one let me come back here and show you the calendar give me a second so as you can see i'm gonna come in appointments and uh, I go to calendars and i'm gonna choose uh, a demo calendar so right now i don't have any appointment here uh, this is just a one appointment and that is uh, uh, was a test one so leave it for now and uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, so just wanted to show you on calendar so we want to go back here so we have choose the calendar calendar is ready where we want the appointments to be booked and tools so tools are just like a hand if a human wants to book an appointment for you they need to check a calendar so these tools are just like a uh, hands for the ai bot how it's going to access that calendar for you so it's going to check availability tool book appointment for you it can reschedule for you it can cancel appointment check appointments create tasks for you and create notes later on it can self schedule uh, send email and call user i'm not going to use those ones for now just keep these ones and because we are making a simple one so that's it save everything so here everything is ready is verbiage is like if there's different words you want to use you want to replace uh, if let's say you are in australia you are using different slangs or different different words you're using in australia that you're not using that you are not using in united states um you can change them here in a verbiage so for now this part is ready what i'm going to do is that i'm gonna come back here in the automations and create a workflow to make ai calls and we're gonna go start with scratch and i'm going to name it ethan for havoc what i'm gonna say is that make an ai call so how would we have multiple different assistants that we can have in our ai software we want to we want to copy that assistant id that the particular assistant that we want to use to make calls we want to copy that id and paste it here so let me come back here so this is the id that i copied i'm gonna come back here 
and put this id here so now this assistant is ready to make call it's published and i am going to hit save so now i'm gonna give myself a call to see if this ai calling agent is working fine and can book reschedule and cancel appointment for us i am here in the contact section and i have already opened my contact number here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add myself in the automation and you know we created was the automation was ethan for havoc so when i'm going to add myself in this automation i should receive a call on my phone number so i'm going to add myself and wait for the call so when the call is going to come through it should follow the task based framework that i have made so as you can see i am receiving this call and i'm gonna pick this up okay. this is ethan from the electrician company i noticed you expressed interest in our services through facebook or google how can we assist you with your electrical needs today uh yes yeah, so i filled up a form on google because my heater was not working got it when did you first notice that your heater wasn't working uh this morning Thanks for letting me know. Is the issue affecting just the heater or are there other appliances or areas in your home that are also impacted? Uh, just the heater. All right, thanks for the details. A skilled electrician can definitely help with that. Would you like to schedule an appointment for one of our electricians to come by and take a look? Uh, definitely, um, that'd, be, that'd be a great, great help. Could you let me know your address and your preferred date and time to the appointment? Sure. It's Unit 6, 34 to 36, Houghton Road, Dofton. Thanks for sharing your address. Do you have a preferred date and time for the appointment? Uh, sure. If you can do it tomorrow at 2 p.m., that would be great. Let me check if we have availability for tomorrow at 2 p.m. We have availability tomorrow at 2 p.m., so we can book that time for you. Just to confirm, you want to book the appointment for Wednesday, November 13th at 2 p.m., right? Ah, uh, yes, please. So it should book me an appointment. I'll go ahead and book your appointment for Wednesday, November 13th at 2 p.m. Ah, uh, okay, your thank you. Your appointment is all set for Wednesday. Thank you. Just let me check if it's booked in my calendar. No worries. Take your time to check. If you have any questions or need further assistance, just let me know. Ah, uh, definitely. Uh, so actually, yeah, uh, you have booked me in for tomorrow, but the, uh, the thing is uh, something came up that I forgot. So could you please reschedule my appointment to Friday at uh, 3 p.m.? No. no problem at all. Let me check the availability for Friday at 3 p.m and reschedule your appointment. So, every time? We have availability on Friday at 3 p.m., so we can reschedule your appointment to that time. Let me go ahead and make that change for you. Your appointment has been successfully rescheduled to Friday, November 15th at 3 p.m. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out. Uh, actually, give me a second, please. Let me check if you have... Oh, yeah, you have re uh, successfully rescheduled my appointment. Uh, but another thing is that I am so sorry. I had a wedding to go to. So could you please cancel my appointment and I'll give you a call back later to make sure uh, when is the best time for you guys to come over and have a look. No worries at all. I'll cancel your appointment for now. You can reach out anytime when you're ready to reschedule. Let me take care of that cancellation for you. Your appointment has been successfully canceled. Feel free to reach out whenever you're ready to reschedule. Have a great time at the wedding. Okay, thank you. Bye. If you have any more questions... So guys, as you can see, it has successfully booked an appointment, rescheduled it and cancelled it for us. Um, if you like similar video, I can make more complex port uh, that can access Google Sheets, and they can have uh, password embedded in them uh, like it can do multiple different things if you want to see more videos i would really appreciate if you can like and subscribe and tell me in comments what is it that you liked and what you did not like so i will be happy to answer any question that you have thank you for now